Greetings. It's been a while since I read to you from this, and uh, I understand there was a crazy person that just went on a rant on this channel, and I would like to apologize to you. He's been taken away. So now I'm going to read you a story to settle everybody down to settle in for the night. This is the game that just wouldn't end. A lot of people say that hockey is the fastest team sport there is. The skaters certainly fly across the ice, and sure, the action doesn't stop for long. But there was at least one game when hockey didn't seem very fast, and that was the game that just wouldn't end. I'm reading from 5-Minute Hockey Stories, which is available at Kohl's Chapters. I got this for 5 bucks. The longest game ever played in the NHL happened on March 24th, 1936 at the Montreal Forum. The Montreal Maroons, a team that doesn't exist anymore, and the Detroit Red Wings were playing the first game in a best-of-five semifin semifinal playoff series. After three periods, the game was tied 0-0. After a short intermission, the first 20-minute overtime period started. That overtime period ended still 0-0. As did the next. As did the next. As did the next. And the next, and the next. In case you've lost track, that's six overtime periods. When the game was over, the two teams had played about as long as it takes to play three full games. Very realistic drawings right there. The game, which started at 8.30 at night, finished almost six hours later at 2.25 in the morning. In other words, it started one day and finished the next. Playing hockey for six hours would exhaust anyone, but as the game went on, it actually got harder and harder for the players. You see, the longer the game wore on, the more difficult it was to skate. The ice surface became covered with deep scratches and holes. Skating across the rough, bumpy surface was hard work, and the puck bounced around whenever the players tried to stick handle along the ice. The players' legs were so sore that during intermissions, they lay on the benches with their feet in the air to keep the blood flowing. They also drank tea and coffee, trying to get a little pick-me-up. The two referees, who usually take the skates off between periods, stopped doing that. Their feet were getting swollen, and they were afraid they couldn't get their skates back on. Sure, the players and refs were having a rough time, but it's not as if the goalies had it any, had it any easier. In those days, the teams didn't use backup goalies. The two opposing goalies had to play the whole game without any breaks. So that meant the Detroit goalie had to make 90 saves on his own, and the Montreal goalie faced 67 shots by himself. In fact, by the end of the game, Detroit's goalie had worked so hard that he'd lost 12 pounds in sweat, and the equipment he wore soaked up every pound of it. His leather gloves were drenched. The horsehair stuffing in his goalie pads was wet through... His wool sweater was sodden, and his long underwear was dripping. And remember, this is before we had the kind of equipment we got now. So yeah, this this would have been brutal, and the ice would have been awful. Now, if you've watched six hours of TV, you'd be uh, dry, but probably pretty tired. Well, so were the fans watching the game at the Forum. By the time the two teams were into the later overtime periods, some of the people in the stands, those who hadn't left already, were curled up on the seats and going to sleep. In the wee hours of the morning, not too long before a lot of people in Montreal had to get up to start their day, Detroit finally scored the only goal of the game, beating the Maroons 1-0. A cheer went up from the crowd, except there wasn't really a cheer, it was more, of a, more like a sigh of relief. The NHL has long since changed the rules about overtime, so we'll never see a game this long again. As much as you might love hockey, would you want to sit through a six-hour game? See, I don't know about that because since this book was published in the American Hockey League, there was a game that was over six hours. So just because it was different rules back then doesn't mean we may not see a game this long again. There have been games that have been close. This brings to an end this five-minute story. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And may your night be a little less crazy and a little more serene. I'll talk to you again later.